Hey there, my name's Gary Sims, and this is Gary Explains. Now, we all want the best performance we can get from our uh, gadgets, from our technology, whether it's a laptop or a smartphone or a desktop or, or even a camera. We want to tune it, we want to tweak it, we want to set it so that you can get the best performance out of it. Considering you've paid for it, you put down some money, of course, you want it to perform the best. Now, recently, I upgraded the RAM in my laptop and I almost doubled the performance. So I spent $100 on extra eight gigs of RAM, and I almost doubled the performance. Now that's a pretty good way of getting more out of what you've already got. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. So this is the uh, laptop in question. It's an Asus laptop. It's got a Ryzen 5 uh, 5500U uh, inside of it. And basically you can take off the back here, just a few screws, and there is a slot, a so dim slot, where you can upgrade the memory. It had eight gigs on board. I put in another eight gigs, giving 16 gigs in total, and in doing so, almost doubled the performance. Now before I get into why that doubled the performance, let's just look at a few uh, benchmark results to show the difference before and after the RAM upgrade. So this graph here is for my thread test tool. The source code is available in my GitHub uh, repository in single threaded mode. This is how long it takes the test to run. So in single threaded mode with eight gigs, it took just over one second. And with 16 gigs, it took 0.61 seconds. In multi-threaded, so it was running 16 jobs, 16 threads at the same time, it took 2.6 uh, nine eight seconds before the RAM upgrade, and then 1.65 seconds with the RAM. I go to a second faster, 38% better uh, with that. Turning to a popular benchmark like Geekbench, we can see here for single core, 1345 and then 1426. Higher, higher is better uh, under Geekbench. So a slight improvement there for single threaded, but when you go to multi threaded, it goes up from 3681 to nearly 5000. So that's a 35% increase in performance. Back to another one of my tools. This is my uh, thread test tool based on uh, SHA256. Source code again is available in my GitHub repository. 3.19 seconds for the single threaded up with eight gigs of RAM. And then I go to 16 gigs of RAM, 1.92 seconds, or so a 40% uh, increase there in performance. And then again, when you go over to 16 threads, seven seconds versus nearly five seconds. So two seconds faster there. Again, all I did was just pop that uh, extra eight gigs of RAM in there. Why did I get all this extra performance? We'll talk about that in a moment. One last one, I have a memory test tool, which literally just allocates chunks of memory and then frees them does that many, many times in single threaded and in multi threaded. Four little uh, graphs here. When it's just one thread using asking for one megabyte of memory, basically the time was the same, no improvement there. When it was 16 threads asking for one megabyte of memory, we can see quite an improvement there. 25 seconds, it goes down to 18.6 seconds. When you're asking for 128 megabytes of memory per chunk per go, again, not much difference in the single threaded. And here is the greatest improvement I saw. This is a 43% uh, improvement. That's 1.75 times better, almost two times better, not quite, almost. 16 threads requiring 128 megabytes of memory, allocating it and freeing it. You can see huge difference there in the time it took for that test to run. So how can extra RAM make your devices go faster? Well, there are two reasons. One that's not applicable to this situation, but it could be applicable in some situations. And the second one is what actually happened in this case. So what's the first one? Well, sometimes a machine can just have not have enough RAM. So the programs that you're running, you know, it makes the computer just uh, run out of RAM. When it does that, it starts to do a thing called swapping. And there are different techniques for swapping, particularly on Android, you can get ZRAM swapping, you can get actual swapping to, uh, to the flash disk. Uh, on a PC, you normally you swap to the flashes. What does that mean? Uh, or to your hard drive? What does that mean is that when it needs a block of memory, it takes a block that hasn't been used very much, a page it's called, it writes it out to the disk, it puts in what you need in there, uh, with the hope that you don't need the one that you just asked for. If it does, then it has to do the swap again and then you can get this thing called thrashing but in any case when you start swapping the performance will go down because you're waiting for things to be written back and forth from the disk now of course that was much much more relevant years ago when we were dealing with much much smaller amounts of ram in our pcs nowadays i'm just saying 16 gigs in here so the tests that i've run 
didn't touch any of those memory links. When I run Adobe Premiere Pro or Photoshop on my main PC, yes, I can see the memory usage go up. And when I have lots of big images open, then I can see the PC start to struggle. It does need to do some swapping. And then when I go back to another device, uh, program, it takes ages for that to come. But that wasn't what was happening here. These are programs that run, but they don't exhaust that 16 gigs of memory. So that's not what the issue. What the issue actually is the difference between single channel memory and dual channel memory. So by default, this laptop comes with eight gigabytes of RAM on the motherboard. You can't take it off. It's all built in and it uses single channel memory. There's this one channel, one path to the memory. Now, when I added in an extra eight gigabytes, which is noticed as identical to the first eight gigabytes, and it had similar uh, performance numbers in terms of you know the megahertz, how fast it is, and you know the uh, the latency numbers and all that. So the laptop enabled dual channel, and what that means is now a channel that speaks to one RAM module and a separate channel that speaks to the other RAM module. Which means if there's a moment when it needs to get data from both RAM modules at the same time, both pathways are active and the data comes quicker back to the processor. And as you saw there, the biggest gains were generally when I was using multi-threaded applications requiring large amounts of memory. And that's because in those cases, the memory would be scattered uh, all over the physical memory, different threads are doing it, they're all just not all just one nice block over on one uh, memory bank. It's all over the place. And so it was able to talk to both channels, to both memory models and get the memory back quicker. And the result was that it increased the performance. Now, obviously in some circumstances, that's not gonna be a difference. You, as I showed, there were some single thread scenarios there where everything was basically the same. But if you're running big programs that have lots of threading, and sometimes that applies to gaming, sometimes that applies to productivity suites, then actually having dual channels mean that you can actually get greater performance. So basically it was a $400 laptop. After I've had it for, uh, I think about a year, after a year, I thought let's upgrade the RAM to 16 uh, gigabytes. I put in that extra eight gigabytes and in doing so not only increase the RAM, which means I can hold programs like, as I said, you know, Adobe Premiere Pro or whatever in RAM much easier, open big images much easier, but or, or big video files, but also I've got this advantage of now enabling dual channel uh, memory. Okay, that's it. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Space. I hope you enjoyed this video. I found it myself. Personally, that was quite an interesting experience and something definitely going to make sure that I look into in any new pieces of equipment that I get. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, I invite you to stick around by subscribing to the channel. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.